What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Orthexi and welcome back today to Crazy Craft. How are you doing everyone? Welcome back once again to this beautiful Crazy Craft adventure. So today we do have a few plans. So basically what I've been doing is I've been, I've been eating some corn. Yes, lovely, lovely corn. But I've actually been exploring new areas. I've been pushing open new chunks, trying to find somewhere awesome for all of us to build. So I think potentially I have actually found a really nice area and as well as that, because I've been opening new areas, I found loads and loads of cool dungeons and weird bits and pieces that I have no idea what they do. So we're definitely going to go and take a look at them. Ooh! <laughs> and one very special thing. You'll see that just a little bit later on. But quickly before we do that, Justin messaged myself and Dan and said that he had a little gift for us at his actual little sort of temporary base style thing. So, kind of curious. Let's go check it out. Zombie! I am but a humble farmer. Tending to my corn. There we go. So we're actually near where uh, Justin's base is, which is literally over there. I can already see some emerald bits and pieces glowing there, so I'm really, really curious. But I think he has got us a little bit of a gift, which is very, very exciting. Because we all love each- What the heck is that? Um, we may go and check that out in just a second. But okay, let's go and see what's cracking. Wow, how many sheep do you need, Justin? Oh my goodness. What is this? He's got a sheep farm. Let's kill them all. Ooh, no, this this isn't a sheep farm. It's just a lot of sheep. This is amazing. I wonder if we should, like, dye all of these sheep a different color. <laughs> just so when he comes back, he's like, what the heck is going on here? We should totally do that. Okay, okay, okay. So let's go and check this out. Uh, this is his little base, and I'm guessing this is probably it. What have we got here? Uh, to James, compliments of the noodlers. Oh, the noodle. Oh, Oh, I know what this is. So this is compliments of the noodlers, which is obviously Justin's subscribers. And I believe he actually asked them, um, some of you guys probably subscribe as well, but he said like, should you, um, I'm going to put a little squid back in here. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Um, so he actually asked like, would we be, he, would you guys like want to kind of gift us a present? And yeah, this is awesome. This is a titanium and uranium ingot, which is amazing. Because last episode we had just enough to craft ourselves the ultimate sword, but apart from that we have like nothing. So uh, yeah, that's a- the heck is this? Okay, 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 so we're in just his house. I kind of want to have a little sneak peek as to stuff he's got in here. Whoa! He's got so much cool stuff! Obviously we're not going to take any, but it's only right if you're playing on a surf with your friends, you always have to look in their chest. <laughs> it's just kind of interesting to see what kind of- Whoa! He's got so much cool stuff! Justin, you sneaky sausage! You've been getting so much amazing things. Oh, it's amazing. So he has actually given us this awesome uh, gift of some uh, uranium and some titanium, which means that I want to make myself the ultimate bow. That should be amazing. The problem is we're missing one single string and an iron ingot. Now, can I borrow one? I probably should. He hasn't got any string. Oh, no. Sheep. Lots of sheep. Lots of sheep. Lots of multicolored sheep. Coloring more sheep. Dun, 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 dun. They're so pretty. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. He's got a beautiful meadow of colorful sheep. Yes, this is perfect because Crazy Craft is like a mod pack which is super colorful and bright and amazing. And I think he's going to like this. This is like a little thank you for... Uh... <laughs> giving us the ultimate, giving us some really good things. This is not a very good thank you present, you know. Uh, this isn't a prank though. Don't get me wrong. This, this is this is cool because it's colourful, right? The cool thing about Crazy Craft as well is that there's so many flowers everywhere. You can just get tons of different coloured dyes, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, thank you so so much, Justin, for uh, and the noodles, of course, for, for this uh, lovely present. Let's go make it into an ultimate bow. That sounds amazing. We need to find a spider. Oh, there's nine block in here. Perfect. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So let's snap those in like that. Uh, how do we make this again? So it is titanium on the top, uranium on the bottom, ingots. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, so we go titanium on the top, uranium on the bottom. We go iron ingot there, and we go three string down the sides. Yes! Woohoo! So we have ourselves this amazing ultimate bow. Power 5, flame 3, punch 2, infinity 1. So thank you once again, Justin, Thick Noodles, and the Noodlers for this amazing gift. Let's try it out. Let's try it out on this cow. Oh, apparently I can just spam click it. Oh, I can! Oh, this is amazing. This is so powerful. Cool, so we've got ourselves the ultimate sword and the ultimate bow. We still don't have that good an armor. It's not enchanted, but this tiger's eye stuff looks incredible. Look at it! So awesome. Ooh, ooh, right, right, okay, next thing, next thing, next thing. Let me, uh, let me tell you a story. Dan TDM, 
YouTuber, entertainer, superstar. Many know Dan, but little is known about his loyal sidekick, Traoris. Many other villagers are curious as to why he remains so loyal to Dan, when villagers themselves, by nature, care only for emeralds. What makes Traoris different? Who is Traoris? But most importantly, where did he come from? Tales have been told throughout the ages, stories whispered over torchlight of a long lost village dedicated to Dan. They worship him, idolize him, adore him. Could this be the village Traoris came from? The village has never been found, and we will never know. Until now! Dun dun dun! Sound effect, come on, come on! There we go. <laughs> Oh man, that was a lot of effort for one joke, but check this out. I was just finding like up in this area. This is the main sort of area that I explored off camera. It's kind of pretty much, whoa, okay, there was an explosion. Uh, it's pretty much just all desert, but there's this really weird sort of TDM village shrine. And this is an amazing generation. This is so, so cool. Oh, I ran into a cactus. <laughs> okay, so the only problem is, this is the issue. The village has been overtaken by criminals. <laughs> There was, when I first came here, there were like NPC villagers sort of knocking about. Now, because of the way that it works and the spawning, this place is now just full of criminals and that's literally it. Ooh, what's this? Free stuff. What is it? Willpower? Oh, this is from the criminals. Ah, oh, rip, come on. Yes, the life of crime never pays. Oh, I haven't burned the house down, have I? Oh, this bow is amazing. Oh, this makes life so much easier. What do we do with all this willpower? A sapphire? Hey! Oh, there's one villager left! <laughs> oh no, they're all in this house hiding from the criminals! Oh, there's an iron golem as well! Whoa! Oh my goodness, he's just destroying these criminals! Come on, iron golem, we'll fight together! Oh god, there's too many, there's too many! Run, run! Oh, I put quicksand here! <laughs> no! Oh, the desert is cruel! Break, break! Oh, it's, it's literally quicksand! Who, whose idea was this? Come on! No, this is not good at all! This is not good at all! Where did this iron golem go? There he is! Yes! This dude has, like, single-handedly cleared out about 50 of these criminals from this area. This is so funny. Okay, so at least we have some villagers left here, which is good. They can rebuild the population, criminal, criminal. They can rebuild the population from scratch, which is probably good. Let's kill one of these advertising things. Anything good? Uh, no. Uh, okay, so there are still a few knocking about. Come on, dude. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Ow! There's one here. Why are you not doing anything, Iron Golem? Help me! Whoa, there you are. <laughs> Don't hit me. Hit the criminal. What are you doing? Man, this ultimate bow is insane. Look at that villager with a hat. I want that. I want that. I want that so bad. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Yes. Oh, man, that's an amazing hat. Yeah, this ultimate bow is absolutely nuts. So thank you so much, Justin. This is incredible. Um, yeah, the, the materials are used to kind of get this stuff, like the titanium. And oh, no, I shot you. Oh, no, I didn't mean to kill you. I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah, they're quite hard to come by, especially early game like myself and Justin are in. So that's so, so useful. There's a building in there that I want to actually see that one but there's just so many criminals everywhere if we can try and clear these guys out then we might be able to get in come on yes 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 good we cool i think we're cool how many emeralds we've got sapphires and we've got willpower what oh no i've dropped all my willpower i've dropped my willpower <laughs> just leave me alone you've got no chill dude seriously what on earth is this it's like i wonder if this is to do with the railcraft mod i want to say I mean, this is this is pretty cool stuff. So we've got um, engineers overalls, reinforced rails, track advanced rail. I'm gonna take this stuff. You know, it's it's um it's probably like relatively cheap to make, but at the same time, why would I not take it if it's free? So let me just dump all of this stuff in my backpack. And I think that's about it for this building. So it's just like a little weird <laughs> railway station in the middle of nowhere, which is kind of kind of crazy, but um. Free stuff, I'll take it. It just means that I don't have to craft it later on if I want to play around with the railway system. 
Um, yeah, should we go and check TDM out? I guess we probably should. Ooh, there's a library here. Huh, weirdly the uh, actual statue itself, all the chests were empty. I think it probably had like a little bit of an issue generating right in the middle of a village. But no big deal because uh, there's so much cool stuff that I want to explore in this desert. So firstly, would you believe a vanilla NPC desert temple? I was not expecting to see one of these. Uh, but we do also have a lucky block over there, so we'll go and break that in just a sec. But I kind of wanted to see if there's anything different like in... Um, in these so we'll give this a go let's uh double check and see if there's anything cool in here let's just get rid of that pressure plate happy days um vanilla vanilla steel vanilla wow that was disappointing all right it's time to pop and lock to a lucky block oh god no 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 get rid of me get rid of me get rid of me there we go nice get rid of me get rid of you even what are you talking about okay ready three two one and go Ooh, what is that <gasps> oh i think i just got really really lucky Okay, so a lot of people have told me about this Big Bertha weapon. Did I just get super lucky now? I got the Big Bertha blade. Hey. So, wow. Okay, so this is actually what... You, oh, my God. I've got really lucky. <laughs> Look at this. So, Kraken Tooth, Worm Tooth, Vortex Eye, Ultimate Sword, T-Rex Tooth, Caterpillar Jaws, and the Sea Viper Tongue. All of these bosses you need in order to get the blade of this weapon. And I just got it from a lucky block. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, what else do I need? Um, that is insane. Have I just got ridiculously lucky? Big Bertha. 500 attack damage. Are you kidding me? That is just insane. Uh, big Hammer, Big Bertha. I need the Handle and the Hilt. Okay, so I do still need a lot of different things for that. Okay, that's a bit of a project. I was worried I'd just go super OP, like, super quick. Wow, that's so cool, though. All right, what's it going to be? What's it going to be? And it's a lucky sheep. Lucky sheep, you do nothing for me. Kill it. Kill it. Right, so literally all over this desert, there's, like, probably about five or six of these weird boxes. And I don't know what they are. Like, I've never seen them before, so I thought it would be fun to kind of investigate one. Oh, apparently... Uh, this- oh, do you remember, like, right in episode two? What the heck are you? Scorpion, okay, 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 it's baby one, it's fine, it's fine. Um, so back in episode two, we found, like, a weird sort of sea dragon spawner dungeon type thing. Well, apparently inside those, they actually have some really good stuff, so we weren't strong enough to get in one of them when we first found it, and I think Justin has already been, because... You know, he, he's, he, he's he's pretty good at Crazy Crowd, I think. He, know, he knows what he's doing. So he's gotten in, and he has already, like, raided that one. But I think there's some more. So, okay, what's in here? These silverfish? Whoa, they're scorpions. Ew. Oh, my God, they're really fast. Why are they, Why do they sound like frogs? <laughs> oh, okay, okay, terrible idea going inside. <laughs> what the heck? I just stepped in, and it's like... Um, let's never go back again. Let's go back again. Okay, we're just working on getting rid of the spawners in here, so I think they're all done. But this material is like one of the weirdest ones I have ever seen. So it's actually called, um, lava foam. But the thing is, when you step inside it, it like moves you. It's really bizarre. So hang on, let me... I don't want to go in there just in case we get stuck, but there is a chest. And inside it... Oh, it's blocked. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's break it open, and whoa! Oh. <laughs> All that for some ender pearls. Oh, that sucked. Uh, but yeah, this is such a weird material. Like, I'm gonna let me get rid of this criminal. Don't bum, 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 bum. Spam clicks, yes! Oh, it's so powerful. Okay, so let me let me show you here. If you've never seen this before, so like, I'm gonna put a few down, and if I step on it, it moves me. And I'm not touching anything right now. So this could be amazing for some kind of like like future prank. Sort of like in an area where you can't actually move. So check this out. This is a terrible idea. I'm going to do it. Oh, no, it doesn't do it too bad anymore. Okay, there you go. Whoa, look at that. I'm not doing this. This is... Oh, no, I'm going to die. He's going to die. He's going to die. Why am... Oh, what the heck are you, Stinky? I feel like this is something that we could potentially tame. There's two of them. There's Stinky. Oh, they're all called Stinky. Why are they called stinky? They're like little... What are they? Little dragons or something? Oh! That's why they're called stinky. <laughs> Should have known. Um... What the heck just happened? Whoa! <laughs> what did I do to... I, just... I killed a little attack squid. And I think I summoned the kraken. 
What? Okay, well, this officially sucks. <laughs> <laughs> there's like hundreds of um, everything's fighting. There's zombies. There's criminals after me. There's the Kraken in the sky. Is that the Kraken? I've heard about the Kraken. I've never seen it before. I'm guessing that was it. Everything has gone like black. Oh god. No, no, stay away from me. Please stay away from me, dudes. Man, the criminals love the deserts. They're just absolutely packed full of them. It's insane. And what the heck is... Oh, what the heck are you? <laughs> Robo Pounder. <laughs> Oh, what is happening here? I'm so confused. Everything is going wrong. Run. Okay, the light is gone nice and shiny again. So, woohoo, we can be the Robo Pounder. <laughs> nice. Um, so, yeah, we can actually... I think the Kraken is gone, which is probably good. I don't know what I did to some... I thought Yellow's like a special way you had to summon it. All I did was kill like a little attack squid that attacked me. And it all went shiny and... No, it all went horrible and dark and stuff. And then all of a sudden, boom. Big old thing. God damn these criminals, man. So this was one of those dungeons I was mentioning earlier. Um, it's all like covered in bedrock and then there's just stuff happening inside here. Um, but I'm thinking maybe what we can do is we can just jump in, destroy the spawners, and then check out what's in the chest. So, oh god, no, 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 I, I want to stay above it. I want to stay above it if possible. We need to kill the water dragons. Okay, terrible news, terrible news, terrible news, terrible news. We died. No, no, we're okay, we're okay, we're okay. Oh, we can go underneath it. Okay, that's awesome. Why am I using the ultimate bow when I'm in water? <laughs> I'm trying to fire arrows in water. What a sausage. Okay, so are these guys doing... Okay, we're doing pretty good damage. We're doing pretty good damage. Let's try and get rid of these guys if possible. That drops them. Cool. Whoa, okay, run away. Run away. Eat, 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 eat. James, run, 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 run. Trying to snipe them through the top of the hole here. I think there's maybe like three or four left. But I think we should be able to take these guys down. Um, when they get on the land, it's great. But they are still firing projectiles. So we need to be a little bit careful. Did we get them all? No. One more. One more. So I think there's only one more and we should be done. One more hit. Come on, baby. Yes. Okay, one more hit. One more hit. One more hit. And boom. Nice. Man, look at my ultimate bow already. I need to stop spamming it. I've already <laughs> nearly destroyed it. So, whew, is this going to be worth it? Three. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. One more. One more. One more. Get rid of you. Come on. Yes. One more hit. There we go. Boom. Man, this thing is crazy. Okay, is it going to be worth it? It is the ultimate shovel. 37 attack on a shovel, though. Wow. Okay, well, a couple of shovels is not ideal. Experience orb catches. I don't know what they are, but I'm going to take them. I'm going to take this iron because it's a ton of it. Yeah, you know what? I think that might have been worth it. <laughs> I really hope so, anyway. Okie dokie. So, yeah, today we are actually going to finish today's crazy craft by showing you the area where I actually found, which I think would be awesome to build. So, boom, we're here. I kind of liked it. I thought it was really, really pretty. So um, I'm going to show Dan and Justin sort of what they think of the area. And we don't really know how we want to do it just yet. But there is kind of like a nice big open area here. And you can see this is the route that I've been taking to kind of explore. Um, but yeah, there's also another one of these sort of large flowery forest things here. Uh, but for me, I kind of like this area. I think it looks cool. Um, as you can see, I did put some chests here. I was planning on building something for this episode, but I thought, you know what, I really wanted to go and explore instead. So I was thinking maybe this place for like a little starter base, but I've got some big plans for kind of cool builds and stuff, but we need to start somewhere, right? We can't just start like huge straight away. Um, but yeah, I thought this was pretty cool. And as well as that, it's really, really pretty with the big flowers, but... There's like a properly awesome NPC village right next to it as well. So I thought that was really cool because it kind of adds like a community style thing, you know, where you've got other people living here as well. And it's like a really awesome one because it's in a huge fort. Look at this. And the biome runs through it as well. So you've got this really super pretty NPC village. I mean, oh, it would be so easy just to like turn this into the base itself. But I think that's a little bit too easy. Uh, but yeah, it's like a properly guarded one. It's got a hobgoblin in it. I mean, we like the hobgoblins. They're quite sweet. And it's got the flowers running through it. And what kind of hat is that? <laughs> I want it. Hang on, give me the hat. Give me the hat. Give me the hat. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think about this area. I think it's... Uh... It's kind of pretty, actually. I like it a lot um, because it's nice and colorful and it's nice and green and it does have trees and it has like water through it as well. Um, so, yeah, I'm kind of going to speak to Justin and Dan about it and see what they're thinking. And of course, um, your opinion as well matters. If you think this would be a cool place to build, then of definitely, definitely let me know in the comments section below. But unfortunately, sort of just about here. Look at that. That's a good view. Perfect. 
So yeah, I'm thinking this might be quite cool. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, that is going to be about it for today's video. So thank you so, so much for watching. I just wanted to quickly take a second to just say thank you once again for everyone who has been supporting the channel recently to all the new subscribers. A massive hello. Uh, thank you for joining me. It really means an awful lot, of course, to all of my regulars as well. Uh, you guys are all awesome, uh, especially with the Crazy Craft. It's been doing really well on the channel. So thank you so much. Um, and yeah, I think that's about it. So before you leave, please remember to poke me in that like button. And if you're not yet subscribed, go for it, because we do Minecraft done fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. And see ya!